Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're meeting the Doberman. Sleek and powerful, with a bite to match, a magnificent athletic physique and keen intelligence, the Doberman Pinzer is one of Dogkind's noblemen. This incomparably fearless and vigilant breed stands proud amongst the world's finest protection dogs. Bred originally by taxman Louis Doberman in 19th century Germany, to create an imposing but dependable protector to accompany him on his rounds. This notorious tax collector's dog quickly gained an international reputation as a working dog supreme. Dobermen have since excelled at police and military canine duty as therapy dogs and service dogs for the disabled, as searchers and rescuers, and in competitive dog sports. Often depicted in films as menacing, these dogs have earned a fearsome reputation. But what is the truth about this breed? Are they as ferocious as the movies suggest? Or simply highly trainable dogs with a sharp and unforgettable presence? So where else to visit one of Dogkind's superhero breeds than protection dogs worldwide? Home to some of the world's most lethal, but gentle protection dogs trained to not only live alongside small children and pets, but who will defend their family without a second's hesitation. It's just gone past now. A little bit patchy, just to demonstrate. Uh Get out of the car! Get out! Hey! Hey! Ah! Hey! Ah! Ah! Get him off! Stand still! Stand still! Ah! Stand still! Ah! Out! Ah! 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 Hi Anna, Whoa. nice to meet you. Hi. Welcome to Protection Oswald Way. Hello. This is Aurelius. Aurelius, you're beautiful, aren't you? Look at you. <laughs> oh yes, you are. He's like, oh, who's out He's there? attentive, yeah. Who's out there? Good boy, you're beautiful, aren't you? Hey, would you like to look around? We'll show you the place, show you what we do. Excellent, I would oh, love to. Lovely. Come on then. Come in. Come on. This is the training room where we do the majority of the training. Oh, nice. So, of course, what we're going to see today are dogs being prepared to go and help people in their exactly homes it. as guard dogs. Yes. Yeah. It's very, very exciting because, of course, we know that Dobermen are known for being amazing guard dogs. We see them in the show ring so many times these days, but we don't often get to see them working. So this is what's going to be very exciting. Today's episode of Animal Watch is to actually see these dogs do what they were originally bred to do. So I'm here today with Lador, our protection dogs worldwide, and of course, Milano, the most beautiful Doberman. He is so gorgeous. So how old is he? He's 19 months now. 19 months, 19 he's months big. Old. He's a big boy. So he, how much bigger is he gonna get? I don't think he'll grow so much in terms of height. You might fill up a little bit in width, but that's it, his height is done. He'll reach about maybe 46, 47 kilos, I think fully grown. Yeah, so that's actually quite... It's big for a Doberman. Yes. Yeah. And tell us what you do. So we, we select dogs from puppies. Uh, we bring them on in family environments. Then we select the best ones back that are capable of being trained. We then train for family protection. 
yeah. ultimately it's a it's a bodyguard for a family a bodyguard for a family but of course these make great pets they as are well pets. ultimately that's what they are they're a pet they're a pet that's trained yes a pet that protects really they're affectionate family yeah, super pets. affectionate where do you go from start to finish in their training? So we select them from different places in the world, trusted breeders. So we'll pick back usually two, three, sometimes four from a litter. We'll bring them on in a family environment for six months, see how they are with kids, people, environmentally sound or any nerve problems. We then select ones that we believe are the most trainable. Um, then they come here and the process starts in terms of the training, the obedience and so on, the protection. Yes. Um, until, they, until they're completely trained. So it's about an 18 months process, start to finish, with Adobe. Yes, and then the people will come to you and yeah. um, the, number one is because they obviously, they feel that their safety might be compromised sure. in some way. Yeah. Um, have you had some quite scary stories yeah, from horrible. people? Yeah, horrible, daily. Um, we get a lot of really bad calls from yeah. people that have had some terrible experiences. Well, like what burglars breaking in. Um, Kidnapping. People being tied up on a Friday, open the safe, jewellery taken, cars robbed, wow. um, families tied up, kids been held. E everything you can imagine that you see on the news we get in terms of yeah. calls. So, of course, people are desperate to have a dog that will, will keep them safe. Well, it's something trusted. Yes. Yeah, in opposed to an alarm. Yes, um, and, I, and I guess a lot of people won't break into a house when they know there's there's no, one of these these guys. Definitely not. <laughs> not when you look over the fence or look through the window and see one. Yeah, oh, he's, he's absolutely gorgeous. He just loves he? affection. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's eating my clothes here. <laughs> have you had any famous clients have any of your dogs? Quite a lot, yeah. Yes. We've had a lot of famous clients with the dogs. We've signed a lot of NDAs who we can't discuss, certain yeah. people, um, royal families. Royal families. Yeah, yeah. And abroad. Footballers. Um, quite a lot of footballers. Yeah. Mixture of people. Yeah. How much will a dog like this cost? Potentially something like 35,000 upwards. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of money, but of course they, they come completely fully trained. The people that are um, investing in one of these dogs, they yeah. will undergo training with you too. Sure. So it's they the only can way learn works. all of the commands that you have trained them to do. What is he capable of doing? So he's an obedient dog. You can take him anywhere on an off lead, but he's capable of searching your house, finding mm -hmm. intruders, holding them at bay, long distance attack, multiple attackers. He'll travel with you in a vehicle, save you from being carjacked. And will he just automatically do this or do people need to give him a command? Everything's on command. Okay, okay. the reason being is it's safe that way. Yes. You don't want a dog to make a decision that could be the wrong decision. Everything's based on command. So why Doberman Pinscher? What makes these dogs so brilliant as guard dogs? They're an athletic dog. They're very loving, they always want to be with you, but they've got a great ability. So they've got the right level of drive to work and they're very loyal, yeah. but they're easy to train. People do ask me constantly about dog tears and dog yeah. tails. Um, he is a working dog. Sure. So what is the reason in this breed for yeah. docking the ears and docking the tails when it comes to guard work? It's simply the work. I wouldn't do it for show purposes. The ears, when they work, flop and hit the face. And what happens is the end of the ears blister. Yeah. So it doesn't happen for a shepherd because its ears are upright. But with a dobe, it'll hit off the face and then the blister, then the infect, and then it becomes a problem. Same with the tail. The tail mm -hmm. never recovers once it's blistered. Wow. And it's literally forever in the vets with antibiotics and pain. Really? Just so have, you, yeah. you've had plenty of examples of where you've, you've tried to work one. I won't work one ever again with yeah. tail and ears. If you're putting the dog through the pain, um, yes. and I don't believe it's fair. If you want to have a Doberman and you just want to have it as a pet, the ears can be yeah, 100%, floppy, yeah. but if you're looking to have a Doberman as a guard dog, as you've heard here, they can sustain injuries. But anyway, I'm absolutely dying to, to see, see so. what he can do. Okay, we'll so show you his other side. <laughs> Excellent, so we're gonna go through some very exciting demonstrations of what this dog is capable of. Let's yep. go. Go on in, go on time for work, come on. <laughs> So we're just going to do some training, show you the dog um, biting on command, barking on command, um, some biting, some really? letting go. Yeah, just showing you a, a, basically a bit of a training routine. Watch him. That's good. Good boy, Milano. Good. That's good. Super boy. Good. I don't know your tea. Out. Good. Good boy. Good. That's good. I'll do it. And I know. Out. Out. Good. Yep. Good. Good boy. <laughs> That's his reward. Good. So, Annika, this is Aurelius. Um, really nice Doberman. This exercise here is still in training. So the point of this exercise is to close, uh, is to do a 360 perimeter around me. 
eventually without the lead. So we've taught the foundations in to go round me, both ways, guarding me from any threat. Okay, and what's the reason for doing this it without helps, lead? It basically, it helps people that can't handle a dog as well as me, um, not have to be hands-on. Okay. They'll literally give a command and they can get the phone out of the pocket, ring the police, ring help, and the dog's literally guarding them. And the them dog in. is literally going all the way around full 360 them. around And me. if anybody was to come anywhere near you from each side, he'd be like, right, be I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's so gorgeous. He's so good. He's winning me over, I've got to say this one. He's like, I'm going to take him home right now. Okay. Close. Watch. Close. Close. Good. Good. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good boy, Ahilius. Good. Okay. It's a good first day. Yeah. Out. Close. So say watch and then give him a correction. Right, watch. Watch it. You'll just basically tell the dog to hold and okay. he'll run in and hold someone at bay. Right. Okay? It's very okay. it's as simple as that. You don't have to panic. It's a, it's a trained he'll exercise. Do it on the lead. You can let go of the lead. Let go of the lead and yeah. then he'll just What you'll sit. do is you'll hold him, you'll say Aurelius, hold, and then he'll run and find him. Close. Close. That's good. Good boy. Hold. <laughs> Good boy, good boy, good boy. And when you're ready. Aurelius, out. Aurelius, out. Good boy. Aurelius, out. 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 He knows, doesn't he? Yeah, he knows. Out. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's not as easy, it's okay. is it? It, as is, it, looks, so if, is it? You, you say out now. Out. Dog training is about creating consequence for action. Yeah. So you said out there, I corrected him. Now the word out from you has a respect. Okay. In a post that he's never had to do it for you before. Close. Yes. Just like he's never had to work for you before. So the dog doesn't know whether you mean the word or yes. not. That's okay. where we train people. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay, that was cool though. That yeah, was good. brilliant. Well, I had thoroughly enjoyed my day and found the Doberman breed to be super smart, highly trainable and extremely affectionate. They are wired to work and please you and need training and stimulation to provide fulfillment in their lives. I was amazed at how incredibly well the Doberman protected me, even though I was not their primary handler. I would absolutely feel so safe around a trained one of these. Protection Dogs Worldwide had shown me some of the best examples of what a highly trained Doberman can become, if in the right hands. Well, I hope you enjoyed this amazing episode of Animal Watch on the Doberman and the fantastic protection dog worldwide that make the most amazing guard dogs all over the world. He's an absolute bundle of energy. But if you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch, then please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom of the corner. And if you'd like to find out more about the work that these guys do, then I'm going to pop their website underneath below and you can get in touch with them there. Well, I will be joining you next week when I bring you some more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. So it's bye from me and bye from a very wriggly Aurelius. See you soon. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram where I will be leaving regular live updates on my day-to-day -day filming on Animal Watch at Annika Svenska Official.